Okay, um, the trigger mechanism on the bow is proven to be a pain in the fucking ass. Like you would not believe. So, moving on to the uh, exploding arrows. And small board exploding arrows. We need to keep this light um, yeah, for distance. I'm going to use two common plastic straws. Unfortunately, the ones that I purchased were the annoying bendy ones, which, much like weevils, are evil and thus must be destroyed. I'm taking common pair of scissors, no longer bendy. Bend it. Just like Jesus. Anyway, take two straws. See there? Tape in the middle. The electrical gaffer tape. This stuff, let's discuss this quickly. This stuff is amazing. British Army runs on this stuff alone. Fantastic. This will fix even a broken heart. Anyway, <sighs> on with the bollocks. Now, take your said nuclear straw, and with the aid of a, a bit of home nuclear fission, take a small piece of tape. Like so. See, faint what they used to be anyway. Cover what they need. Cool. I'm like that Mr. Maker. The Mad Max world. Zombie play, Mr. Maker. Children's TV. The lunatics are. Anyway, when you've completely sealed this airtight to NASA standards, of course, because you know they know everything. You fill this with the magical chemical that goes bang. Now, I unfortunately, due to copyright, cannot show you my homemade uh, thermonuclear device. So, for the moment, you'll just have to use your imagination. But anyway, bleed now. Now, you seal the other end with our percussion cap, yeah, as my young lad has requested, he wants to put that percussion cap on these arrows, like Rambo. I worry about this boy. A little bit proud, a little bit scared. One day he's going to be responsible for my care home. And that fucking terrifies me, because no, my lad, this care home will be Auschwitz, or some such Pleasant holiday camping sun. Thank fuck. They, uh, yeah, they closed the, uh, the terrorist camp. Anyway, moving on. Right, percussion cap time. Using a little bit more of the, your biological chemical warfare tape. Just a little this time. We need to secure this. To this. Okay. Oh, by the way, this contains chemical A, this contains chemical B. That's what you need. A little bit of A, a little bit of B, big bang. They will run dead. And then you can teabag their corpses or whatever else you want to do. Me personally, I'm just going to make a cup of tea. This bit's painful. I find hunting with exploding arrows much more profitable than with barbed arrows. Mainly because, well, two reasons. Number one, hunting with exploding arrows, you don't really have to worry too much about quartering and um, 
cutting up the corpse afterwards. You know, your deer is in a big in pieces and you just scrape up what you want. Two, uh, you don't really have to worry about being too accurate. Um, three, it makes a big bang. And as a bloke, big bang and big tits are really what it's all about, to be honest. Um, there was a four, but much like you know, David Cameron's promises, it just sort of disappeared into us, really. We ignore it and pretend it didn't happen in the first place. But anyway, we have a uh, some kind of dodgy looking arrow that really got me, you know, will not look very threatening, which also works in your favour. Because you know, deer and especially bears, they're quite clever. You know, and therefore, you know, can trick them. Just thinking, ha oh, look at this clown with his plastic making Mickey the arrow. And then, bang, fuck, I'm dead. Anyway, that's enough for today. Um, once the, uh, oh, nearly forgot the bug. Yeah. We've uh, secured our track onto it with more tape and currently have a G clamp. That's one of them. Things are brilliant, you know. Make sure you get them whenever you can. Which is currently sealing the, uh, the trigger mechanism if it works. So, anyway, bye.